Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to be doing a what I eat in a day. It's been requested for me to do more of these, so I decided that today would be a fun day to do one. So starting out with breakfast, I wake up at about 9am because I have work, so I decided to have some cereal. I really like the Red Berry Special K for some reason, I just think it's so good and it's like crunchy and I love the freeze dried strawberries in it, so it's just really tasty. I also really like adding a banana to it just because I love how it tastes and it just adds some fruit in too in the morning, so I just sliced that up and I added that to the cereal as well. As you can see, I kind of just plop the bananas into the bowl. It's not exactly Instagram worthy, but it's real life. So yeah, I just put the bananas on top of the cereal and then I add my milk and I put almond milk in my cereal. I just think it tastes really good. This one is the Almond Breeze Vanilla Unsweetened, which is my absolute favorite. So yeah, I pour that on the cereal. As you can kind of see, I like a decent amount of milk on my cereal. So I pour that on in. So that's what I had for breakfast. I ate that and then I went to work and because I'm dumb, I forgot to bring any food to work. So when I got home, I was absolutely starving. So I decided to make myself a little snack kind of before I made my more lunch type thing, I guess. So I just kind of put together a plate of some grapes, some crackers and some slices of cheese. It was just kind of like a quick thing and it's really tasty. I love cheese and crackers. It's not like the healthiest thing ever, but you know, it's really good and I love grapes. They're like so crunchy and good. Ugh, I, I love it. So yeah, I just kind of put this plate together really quick. I was kind of starting to make my actual lunch while I was eating this, so I don't know. Do any of you guys also do that? Like, I feel like I'm the absolute queen of snacking while I'm cooking my actual meal. I don't know why I do it. It's sort of dumb, but I do it all the time. So yeah, I just kind of ate this really good, and I had some water. I was kind of drinking water the whole day. I drank a ton of water, but I just showed it there because, you know... I don't, I don't know. So yeah, I just enjoyed that. I ate that. And then moving on, I decided to make some potatoes. I just really love potatoes. They're like one of my favorite foods. So diverse. So good. So I picked out a couple of this bag of russet potatoes, which are just good potatoes. I don't know. I love a russet. So I picked out the best two that I liked. And then I decided to chop them into like little quarters. You can kind of see how I did it. Um, I peeled off some of the skin that was a little bit rough in some of the areas. So that's why it looks like that. But you can kind of see what I'm doing. I just kind of cut them into little cubes and that's how I ate them. So my favorite way to eat potatoes is to cube them up like this and then I boil them for a little bit. I sort of parboil them. I put them into cold water and then I turn the heat onto like high and I wait until they start to boil and as soon as they start to boil I drain them and then I put them in a pan and I put them in the oven and cook them that way just because I like them to get really crispy but doing the parboil sort of starts the cooking process for you and it just makes it a little bit easier so that's why I do it. But you can see I put them on the stove and then I set the oven to I think 425 and I let that heat up while they begin to boil and you can see them there they're boiling. Um, so I take them off and I strain them and then this is when we add the flavor. So I put oil into a pan. Um, you don't have to put oil. I'll teach you guys a little bit of a trick of how you can get your potatoes super crispy without adding oil. But I do add a little bit just because... I don't know, it's what I like to do. It helps it not stick to the pan, so yeah. Then I add the potatoes to that, and then I start to add on all the different seasonings. My tip for having crispier potatoes without using a ton of oil is to actually add flour to them. I don't know why this works, but I heard this from Kalel. She's like a vegan YouTuber. She makes really great what I eat in a days if you don't watch them. But yeah, she recommends adding flour to potatoes, and it actually really works. I'm not sure why it works, but it's great. So I add flour, um, I add salt and pepper, I add paprika and parsley, and I think onion powder. So that's what I like to add. You can really add whatever type of flavor you want to your potatoes. You could have some garlic, some thyme, I don't know, whatever you like. Just add it to the potatoes, okay? So that's what I add. 
So those are the potatoes after you mix in all of the different seasonings on them. So they're ready to go into the oven now. So I put them into the oven that has been preheated to 425 and I let them cook for 25 minutes. I flipped them around, kind of moved them a little bit, and then I cooked them again for 20 minutes. It kind of depends on your oven and depending just on how you like them. I like them to be pretty soft but crispy on the outside, so you can kind of do whatever you want. I recommend just taking a toothpick or a fork or something and kind of pressing it into the potato and if it comes out really easy and it goes in really easy then they're usually cooked. You can even like take one out and try one and then put them back, you know, whatever, just cook them. So then I put them on a plate. I ate about half here and then I ate some more after. My friend Matt was actually over and he ate some of them too but they were really good. I like to eat mine with ketchup. You can eat yours with like sriracha or whatever you really like. But yeah, those were super good. So had some of those and then yeah, you can see I ate some more again later. But yeah, potatoes, they're great, they're wonderful. So then like an hour or so later, I decided to have a little snack and I just had some celery sticks with a little bit of peanut butter. Um, I know that the Jif peanut butter isn't really the healthiest, but it was all I had in the house. So that's what I had. I would usually pick something better. But yeah, just some celery sticks with peanut butter. That was really good. Super simple. Um, and then before I went to the gym, I decided to make some oatmeal. I just really love oatmeal. I know that the little quick packs aren't as good as just doing like steel cut oats, but it's super simple. So I used the maple and brown sugar Quaker oats. Um, and then I add my own cinnamon to it because I love cinnamon. So I add that and then I just kind of heated up some water in the microwave and then added water, stirred it. I don't know. I feel like people make oatmeal very different. Some people add milk. Some people like put the water in the oats and then put it in the microwave. Like how do you make oatmeal? Let me know down below. Um, and then I also added some pure maple syrup just because that makes it so good, um, which also really isn't the healthiest thing, but it's delicious and it was just a little bit. So I added that and then I just ate that oatmeal before I went to the gym and it was really good. So then for dinner, I decided to keep it pretty simple and I just made some spaghetti and some greens. My absolute favorites are broccoli and asparagus, so that's what I made. You can see here I'm just kind of snapping off the ends of the asparagus and then cutting the larger florid of broccoli into smaller little florids um, just because that's how I like to eat it. So yeah. So to cook the broccoli, I like to steam it. That's my preferred way of eating it. So I use a double boiler and I just put water on the bottom and then the broccoli on top and I cook it like that. But yeah, you can see I have the pasta boiling and the broccoli and I like to kind of put the asparagus in a saute pan and I also heated up some tomato sauce for the spaghetti. But yeah, that's kind of the finished product, just the asparagus, the broccoli, and the spaghetti. Super simple but really good. Um, I added the tomato sauce on after. I just thought it looked really like cute and clean like that. So that's what I had for dinner. Um, and then you can see I actually went to Dairy Queen with my boyfriend because he really wanted a blizzard and you know I don't like to deprive myself so I did end up having half of a blizzard but it was really good um, yeah so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you like this video and you want to see more what I eat in a days definitely let me know down below and also let me know if you like when I do the voiceover versus not doing the voiceover so thanks guys for watching and have a great day bye